And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Days Gone for the PC, I'm Verm, this is episode 16 I believe, and last time we just took over another ambush camp after trying and failing to eliminate a Freaker Horde multiple times. I can actually hear zombies outside already, which isn't good because I seem to recall there are a lot of Freakers near this um, ambush camp. So let's just take it carefully so this video I think I'm gonna make an effort to press on with some of the story quests uh, rather than going for some of the um, the uh, completionist stuff so we're gonna do this the return to the hot springs camp oh there's some ammo there I think Okay, we look like we're pretty stocked up. We got a sniper rifle last time. We have pipe bombs. We have frag grenades. We don't have anything great in the way of distractions, but you know what we have, we can work with. Now I could hear zombies from inside the uh, bunker, but there don't appear to be any nearby at the moment, so. That's positive at least. Where's the bike? It's down there. So yeah, I think for this episode we're going to try and knock at least one, maybe two quests out. Um, yeah, and see where it takes us. It has been a couple of days since I've played this game, so I can't remember everything we've been doing. I definitely can't remember a whole lot to do with what we were doing story related. I remember the objective was to go and visit uh, Sarah's memorial stone, who I believe is our wife. Oh, if that's not a horde location, I don't know what is. The Lava River Caves. Now we'll read that in a moment because this freak is going to be a pain in the ass otherwise. Finally. I actually want to go and check inside this cave to see if it is, as I believe, a freaker spot. Um, the Lava River Caves, here we are. The Belknap Caves were formed nearly 80,000 years ago by lava flows. Lava flows from volcanic eruptions tend to become channeled into a few main streams. The overflows of lava from these streams often cool and solidify, creating stacked layers of lava around the flow. After many hours or days, the lava melts downward into the ground, giving the tube a taller, narrower cross section. After the eruption subsides and the flows harden, these lava tubes become a cave, sometimes with remnants of the ebbing lava flow preserved. Lava? Let's go and see if we can find any. I am fairly sure this is going to be a horde location. It definitely looks like the sort of place that a freak horde would infest. But I've got a check, haven't I? This definitely looks uh, suspicious to say the least. Although if you're saying it's this big cave, there's not a whole lot um, in the way of space inside it. Maybe not. That's definitely a hard location though. I'm not having how it's not. I do feel they could have put a little bit more effort into designing like a proper cave though instead of just you know, a very tight, narrow passageway. But that's the feeling I get with this game. Just, they had some really good ideas and they just could have done a bit more with it than they have done. But I do like it overall, so I'm not going to complain. Oh! 
Oh dear. Get up, Deacon. Oh, nice. Your hand appeared to glitch through that freaker's head there, Deek. Okay. Okay. So, the bugs that are present on the PlayStation version clearly aren't fully eradicated here. Although, they don't seem to be overly frequent. There's so many tourist locations I haven't actually picked up. I'm gonna grab them. Kerosene there as well. I got a use for you. Okay, where was that tourist location? Um further up to my right. Another part of the Lava River Cave, apparently. I will leave these up on screen just for a moment so you can pause if you want to read them. Uh, that's the wrong one, though, I believe. Where is it? Oh, that's the right one. Oh no. Well, I got where I wished for there, folks. Select the th bloody grenades then. Oh no. Yes, that is definitely a horde. Where's my bike? Oh no. This is a death here, folks. Uh... Yeah, there's no way I'm going out of this one alive. I can hear them behind me and I'm too scared to even look behind. I just want to try and work my way around to the bike again. So that will teach me to go racing into a uh, cave. Yeah, look at him over there. Also, how have you not seen me? That'll teach me to go rushing into a cave where we know there's freakers, or where we suspect there's freakers. Captain Jack. Hot Sparrow, I assume. Oh, no! Just take this slowly. Stealth seems to have gone out the window for me in this game. That's another new collectible there, there, folks. And another one by the looks of it. Okay, the hard noise has passed, so I'm assuming it's safe to go and grab the bike. That was a scary experience. I thought I was done for there. This looks like an ambush camp up to my right. I'm 
I'm sort of regretting using those grenades though, because I feel like with a bit more planning, I might be able to put them to some use. And maybe take out a horde. Maybe not that one, but one of the smaller ones for sure. And that was a fuckload of ammo wasted as well. Oh well. See, look, there's Taurish locations everywhere that I could go. Well, two or three of them at least that I could go to. But I think for now, I do just want to go and do this quest. Oh, there's a Nero checkpoint here as well. With people with guns in there, by the looks of it. We'll be dealing with that later. No, I will not be rescuing the hostage. Well, that fog's a bit oppressive, isn't it? And here we are at Tucker's camp again to pick up a quest offer. One of the open up. That's right, open up full. I do just want to go and uh, refuel my bike and you maybe bike? see if I can get some ammo hey, as well. How's it going? Bike's looking busted up. Is it okay. fog? Later. How you doing? What's happening? Let me use the shop then. Oh, you go Look here. I'm just gonna restock all this. Thanks. Yeah, right. And then I'll we're gonna here. go and collect the quest that we need from here. I'll let Tucker know you stopped by. I'm gonna go see it now. What are you on about, fool? Yeah. Camp jobs and encampment leaders often contract that work they need done. Completing these missions and jobs rewards you with encampment trust and credits. Listen for radio calls to find out when a new mission Dean, or job's available. You ever ride with a drifter, scars all over his face, carries a tire iron, goes by the name of Limbo? Don't know him. He came into camp yesterday to turn in some bounties, have a few drinks. Seems like he didn't leave until early this morning. Well, Tuck, I don't run security here, so why don't you just tell Al Kai about that? He beat a man, Deke. And a woman, to death, Bowman and Hewitt. Her face was so smashed in you couldn't tell it was her. Hewitt, oh, Maria, right? Stop sacking in criminals, Sassel, then. Limbo, he's a local. Alki says they've set up shop at the old Forest Service watchtower on the east slope of Three Finger Jack. Yep, I know where it is, and uh, I'll handle it. I thought you might. So this sounds like literally just a clear out the bandit camp type of side mission. Ugh. Uh, I guess we're gonna go and do it, but... Ugh. That's not the sort of side mission I'd have wanted to do, to be honest. Where's my bike? Hey, man. Hey, how's it going? That's a very good question. Where is my bike? Can I help you? Cool. 
Should hey, be. What's going on? Oh, it's that blanket. So we're gonna do this mission. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll wrap up after that or not yet. It's not a back route out of this camp. That's annoying. How's it going? A lot better if I can find my way out of this bloody camp. Apparently Deacon's bike will just drive through people now, but hey. If this is literally just to clear out the bandits ca uh, camp type of salvage, I'm going to be pissed off. If that is the case, I feel like this is the last time I'll be committed to a 100% blind playthrough of a game that I've heard mixed things about, because, yeah, if, I, if I've got, like, clear out the bandit camp side missions to do on top of doing it just for the 100%, then that's going to be annoying, to say the least. The lack of enemy variety in this game is kind of uh, disappointing as well, I have to say. I know I'm not too far in, but surely there should at least be another couple of types of freakers just to mix it up and to make you learn different tactics. Because so far we've only seen like the basic freaker and the newt. Bounty targets and murderers wanted as survivor and cameras to complete the bounty job like can't take out your target and return with the proof. Okay. So it's not by looks it just to wipe out the sad bandit camp, it's uh yeah. He said his face was scarred, so uh I mean more please, what else can you tell me? He wears a green coat. Looks like a goddamn leprechaun. You bring me his tire iron, Deacon St. John, and I want to cover what's left of the son of a bitch's face. I hear you. Uh, St. John, help. You can fuck off and all. Don't think I hit anyone that time. You can fuck off. He's got Oh no, uh, heal quickly. Okay, where are the rest? Oh. God, how many of these fools are there? Where are you then? Bastard, don't poke your head down now.
easy. Dropping off. Yeah. So it looks like the target's up in that crow's nest up there. We're gonna go and deal with him now. Just making sure I'm ready for it. Was that? Someone did definitely just say that's it, right? Fuck are you? It's there. And he's about to die. Oh. Whoa! Jeez. Come on! He's hold up! Move in! How many bullets do I need to waste? Come on! And then. Whoa. Easy. Still got old iron tooth on you, yeah? Return the tire on as proof to kill now. That doesn't sound good though. Sounds like some of his buddies have just pulled up to help. Oh yes. Oh yes I did. Oh no. Oh god. Not good. Really not good. I don't know if I hit him. But what I do know is this is not a good situation to be in. I can hear him padding around. Oh, Jesus, look at that. Is that everybody? So I think this is what's referred to as a fucking bad situation, folks. I really don't want to have to face off with those wolves. But I might not have much of a choice in the matter. Ah. You ain't got shit. Was that the last guy? I want to say yes. Sabotage. Oh, where's my bike? Uh. Oh, no, oh, no. Uh. 
I want to get my bike back from up there. This is probably the worst decision I've ever made in a game, but... Oh, well, I... I hear you. Where's the bike? There. Damn. That was uh, tenser than I expected. Let's get back to the Tucker camp now and drop off this Tyrine. So it was kind of just a clear out the bandit encampment fetch quest type uh, mission, but it was a little less obnoxious than I expected, so it gets a pass. I can still deal with 100% in this game, I think. I mean, I'm committed to it now anyway, so I've got to, but... Just quickly have a look in here, see if there's anything worth grabbing. I doubt there will be, but... It's always worth a check in these open world survival type games. Um, I don't know if I already mentioned Seven Days to Die. I used to play that a hell of a lot, and basically half of that game was just looting for random supplies. You never know what you can turn up in houses in uh, zombie apocalypse. Okay, so we're just gonna take the road back now, I think. We'll avoid that Nero camp like the plague, because it might as well be the fucking plague. Hello, cunts. Feels like I've just walked into Cirque the Freak. I think that was the guy we were supposed to save earlier. I could be wrong. He's seen better days either way. Jesus, there's a lot of freakers. Uh, right now, that horde that killed me about three times Rip last video is saying, uh, hold my beer. Damn rippers. Yeah, I'm not going near that ripper camp at the moment. Not until I'm a bit better supplied with ammunition. I know I have the pouch on the back of the bike, but I'd rather have two lots of ammo. Just uh, attack a brief shortcut here. I remember looting that earlier on, so we are on the right path. And here we are. You're damn right, someone's approaching the gate. Get it open, can't you? Okay, we're going to go and deliver this bounty to um, the old woman hey, talking now. Uh, just having a look. What do you want? I want you to shut the fuck up, cunt. Go on then, return the job. I'll press the button. Son of a bitch. Yeah, here's old Iron Tooth, just like you asked. Uh, nice work. Deke, you're always the one person I could count on to get things done. You know, I have no idea where you and Boozer rode off to, but it's good to see you. Well, we're around, Tuck, and if you need anything, you know how to reach me. Go see Alkai. I'll update your credits. Oh, we got a lot of, uh... Oh, no, we didn't. I was going to say we got a lot of trust that we didn't get anywhere near enough, really. No more jobs available off Ada Tucker there. We're gonna go restock on ammo. Need anything? Hey, what's going on? Looking for anything in particular? Can I get anything else for you? Good choice. Shut up. Need Tom. anything else? Yeah, all right. I'll be here. Later. Be 
here for your bike? Hey, I'm just taking a bike. bike. Bike's a real guzzler. Okay, let's just have a look at what we've got left today in this area. Obviously, we've got the majority of stuff to do, but we've got seven more encampment jobs, a narrow checkpoint, which is uh, well, we passed it on the way. I can't remember exactly where it was though. We've got two more ambush camps today, two more infestations today, seven hordes, two Nero research sites, six intel, six markers. So we've got a lot of stuff to do here. Um, I think that's probably what we'll do next video, folks. But I guess I'm going to quick save and then until then, I guess until then, folks. Thank you for watching.